Linking to websites, web pages, or files in Mondex is really simple. You can pretty much link to anything on the web. You can link to an external website. You can link to an internal page on your own website. You can link to a PDF, a Word document, an image, a video. Uh, you can link to YouTube. Um, pretty much anything that has an address or a location on the web, you can link to it from within ModX. And how you do that is by highlighting the text that you want to link. So I've got three set up here as examples. Uh, link uh, to an external website. So let's use external website here. And as soon as I highlight some text, you'll notice that this particular icon becomes active. I can also link from a, uh, an image as well. So if you have an image, you can click on that and this will become active. So I click on this little chain icon and here because I'm linking to an external website I can put in the address of the website that I want to go to. Now the target is important that tells uh, the browser am I going to open this new location in the same window or I can open it in a new window. And that's very important because when you're linking to an external website, it's always best to open them in new windows. That way it leaves your website still active on the screen. So I'm going to insert this. When I do that, you can see that it actually makes it a link. I'm going to now try an internal page. Now I want to go up here just for a moment and uh, show you these numbers. These are unique page ID numbers. And this is what we want to link to when we're linking to an internal page. So find the ID number that you want. In this case, I'm going to link to the events page. So that's ID number four. I highlight the text that I want and click the little chain icon. Now the, uh, the way that you link to an internal page is by this particular uh, code. It's square brackets. And then you see, I've already got f this number four ready to go. So this is the uh, what you would type in and whatever ID number you want to go in here um, it could be seven eight whatever the page number is you put it in there and that's all you need to do now again the reason for this is that if you change the page title you change the location of the page it won't matter it will always follow the right page because it's going by the page ID number and we're gonna leave it to open in the same window because we're staying within our own website so I'm gonna add that link. Now I'm going to link to this PDF file. And again, you can link to any type of file, but we'll use PDF as an example because it's one of the most common ones. So I'm going to click on this, this the chain link uh, icon. And now this time I'm going to click on this little browse icon. And when I do that, it opens up the ModX browser. And I'll just uh, size it here so we can see it. The ModX browser uh, and depending on what your access level is and what's been set up, you might have different folders here. Uh, but the ModX browser simply uh, is like your uh, computer browser or explorer. It's just a listing of files and folders. So I'm going to click on the files folder. And I've already uploaded this, uh, this ModX PDF. How to upload files from your computer onto uh, the browser you right click on the folder that you want to upload files and choose upload files and this upload files dialog box comes uh, in view I click add and what it's going to do is basically give you uh, your explorer window that you can browse your computer and you can choose the files that you want to upload now there might be a file size restriction on uh, uploads. Uh, if there are, you can contact us or your website developer and they can often increase the size of the upload that you're allowed. I think uh, the default is set around 8 megabytes. So I want to link to this uh, PDF. I'm going to uh, make sure it's the right one. I highlight it and click OK. And now you'll see that the location and the PDF is uh, put in the URL uh, field. And I'm going to say open in a new window because I want to open this PDF up in a new window. So I'm going to hit insert. And now I've got all three pages linked. I'm going to save this page. 